Okay, before we get into my review of the Acherby's 3.7 gallon fuel tank for the Suzuki DRZ400, I just wanted to show you a few other options that are available, a few other popular aftermarket oversized fuel tanks for the DRZ400. And we'll just start right off with the Acherby's tank. Um, Acherby's offers a 3.7 gallon fuel tank in various colors as you can see here. And the price isn't on the Acherby's website because you have to buy tanks through a dealer. So just to give you an idea of how much they cost, on Amazon you can pick up the tank for $325.56. On Revzilla you can pick up the tank for $369.95. Next, we'll talk about the Clark Racing Tank. This one is available for the E model, um, coming in at 3.6 gallons, and it is $250. They do also offer one for the S and SM models at 3.9 gallons, also for $250. Another popular one is IMS. Uh, this one comes in at 3.2 gallons at $330.95. It fits all of the Kawasaki KLX 400 and DRZ 400 models. IMS also offers a four gallon fuel tank for $423.62. And like the 3.2 gallon tank, this tank fits all Kawasaki KLX 400 and Suzuki DRZ 400 models. And finally, we have the Safari fuel tank. This one is for the S and SM. There's another version for the E model. This one is 28 liters and will run you $713. The Safari IMS and Clark tanks also offer various colors similar to a Cherby's. The most popular color that I have heard about is the natural color because looking at the tank, you can actually see the level of fuel that you have. I have the black a Cherby's tank and I definitely cannot see how much fuel I have just by looking at it from the outside. As I mentioned before, this is a 3.7 gallon tank, which is 1.1 gallons bigger than the stock tank. The installation was very smooth. I didn't have to make any modifications to the motorcycle or the tank. To install it, just remove the seat by these bolts here. There's one on this side and one on the other side. Then remove the bolts connecting the shroud to the radiator. There's one on this side and another one on the other side. I do not have aftermarket radiator guards and the tank clears the radiators well. I don't know if aftermarket radiator guards will affect the installation of the tank, but I would recommend checking out Thumper Talk for that. I have the Zeta offset bar risers installed, which not only raise the bars, but also position the bars closer to the rider. And when the bars are fully turned to the left or the right, they do hit the tank. But when I'm riding, I don't turn the bars that far enough anyways, so it hasn't been a problem. I've heard issues with the petcock either being too flimsy or the petcock screws not staying inserted into the tank, but I haven't had issues. I've taken the tank off the motorcycle many times, sometimes with the petcock resting on the ground when I set the tank down. And again, I haven't had any issues with the petcock. Obviously, it's a bigger tank than the stock one, so it does feel wider between your legs, but it's not too much or uncomfortable at all, and it's actually easier to grip onto. Now for some not so favorable things to consider. Unfortunately, fuel does get trapped in the right well of the tank. If you run out of gas, it's possible to lean the motorcycle to the left and shake the gas trapped in the well to the left side, where the petcock is. Also, the cap is not sealed well, so if the tank is very full and you're riding on bumpy ground, gas will spill out. There is no reserve tank even though the petcock has a reserve setting. Petcocks on tanks with reserves will have two hoses, one for the main tank and one for the reserve tank. But this petcock only has one hose for the main tank. The Acherby's logos cannot be removed. Overall, I'm very happy with this gas tank. And I think it looks great compared to the other options that we've talked about in this video. And it increases your range significantly. I usually can go about 250 kilometers before I start looking for a, a gas station, but that's just being on the safe side. I have gone as much as 310 kilometers before running out of gas. So if you're interested in increasing your fuel range and also making the bike look pretty good, I would highly recommend the Acherby's 3.7 gallon fuel tank for the Suzuki DRZ400. I hope this video helped you decide which aftermarket oversized fuel tank is best for you and your DRZ400. If it has, please consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel. Thank you.